Yo, what's going on everyone? So, uh, today I'm here with another beta Dragonflight video for you guys. Uh, I'm going to go over the new uh, HUD heads-up display that is completely editable uh, through the new just base UI. So, uh, as you know, this is kind of what the base UI looks like, or at least used to look like. Um, I'm going to show you how to get things set up so that you can see all your bars, how to get to the new quote-unquote modern HUD, and then how to... Uh, modify things within that modern HUD. So, first things first is you're going to want to turn on all of your extra bars because, uh, you know, you probably play with more than one bar, right? Uh, so, going into options, uh, you can now find this updated. Uh, this is the old interface, right? And it's got all the different things in it. Um, so, you're going to come down on the left to where it says interface. Uh, and then in interface, we're going to scroll down just a little bit to where it gets to action bars. There, we'll go ahead and turn it on action bar two and three. Turn on right action bar one and two. Uh, and then this is turned off for default for some reason. I don't know why, but you should definitely turn on show numbers for cooldowns because that's definitely super helpful. Uh, so once we're done with that, we can go ahead and hit close. Uh, hopefully you won't get an error like I'm getting on beta, but everything's pulled up now. So you can see we've got our three bars here. We've got our two right bars. And unfortunately, uh, five bars is as many as it's going to let you use on the base UI, but that's okay. Uh, so. Uh, I do have my Tell Me When here in the middle. It's one of my add-ons that I, I use on live, and it's it's currently working on, on beta, so uh, I've got that pulled up, but you can just ignore this. This is an actual bar, so it's just Tell Me When. But I am going to use this to kind of like help me put where I want things to be uh, on my screen. So once we have all our bars showing, now we can go in and start editing things. So as I mentioned, this is the base uh, UI as it kind of looks like now, uh, with a little bit of changes for the modernness. Um, but now here we can just click on edit, so it's right underneath options there. Right, so edit mode right there. And you can see we're set to classic. So we can go ahead and change this right off the bat to modern and the drop down here. And that's okay, just hit switch and boom. Okay, so now all that this really changed was it moved your your frame from the top left down here, and then your target frame from the top, also top left, but slightly to the right, and then move the focus frame next to it. All right, um, so that's like the modern. This is what it'll look like if you just choose modern and don't do any editing to it. But we wanna spice this up a little bit. Let's make this look a little bit different for us. So uh, now what we're gonna do is we're going to expand our options. Now, the grid might show up or might not show up. Um, the first thing you want to do is click it if it's not showing up. It probably shows up with the really, really, really large squares like this. I don't know how these large squares are helpful at all. Um, but hey, they're there. Uh, so I definitely turn that all the way down to 20 just so that they're smaller squares and they help a little bit more with what we're going to be using for. So uh, you can see here, I clicked on all the options so you can see everything that's included on the base that you can modify on here, um, but I'm going to take some of these off just so that we can get started and just kind of like look at our base stuff first. So I'm really just going to have us look at our target and focus and then we've got all our bars on. So first thing uh, for my UI on live using Elv, uh, one of the things I normally like to do is have my, my, my frame right next to my tell me when so that I can see my frame and my buffs. Uh, now you'll notice when I clicked on my frame this other pop-up came over here and you can change to where you can cast, put the cast bar underneath you. Um, if you like that, I like to have mine separate and on in the center, so I'm going to unclick that. Um, but if you wanted to move this back to where it was for the modern, maybe you change it and you don't like where it goes, you can just hit revert and it just moves it right back. So I'm going to go ahead and put this here and just line it up with the top of my tell me when there. Uh, then I'm going to go ahead and take my target because I like to have my target with it too. And you can see the focus is attached to it. That's not my target's target. That's the focus right now. Um, so you can see that by clicking on it. Um, but it, it moves with it right now. Uh, I'm actually going to end up changing that. I like to have my focus down towards the bottom so I don't get confused with it. Uh, but I'm just going to kind of line this one up with my tell me when as well. Just so that it's nice and flush with it. Uh, and there we go. All right, <clears throat> and again, you can choose there to have buffs on top or buffs on bottom. I prefer the buffs and debuffs to be on the bottom, um, so I'll leave that as that is. So next, uh, let's go ahead and take a look at our our bars. So right now, our bars are they're pretty big, especially for you know they're taking up uh, quite a bit of room here. So let's go ahead and let's make these smaller. So by clicking on action bar one, and you can do this with any of the action bars, um, we can change the size. One of the nice things about action bar one is that these 
the artwork for the griffin or if you're horde the wyvern um, is attached to this bar so when you click on it you can see hide bar art i don't want to see that so i'm just going to click it off um, and then hide bar scrolling this is where you can click here to change between bar one two three you know how you can have like extra in there um, i don't use those ones so i'm just going to go ahead and hide that as well and then there's some changes that we can do up here we can go from horizontal to vertical if we want uh, we can change how many rows there are maybe we want to have two rows maybe we want to have three the max you can do is four that's okay um, I don't really see a reason to do more than that right um, so you can choose between one and four I'm gonna leave it as one you can change how many icons can be seen uh, so if you only want a couple like six um, or up to 12 you can do that some of my bars I only use 11 so um, that's that and then you can change the size so this is what I'm gonna do I feel like these are kinda of big so I'm gonna change it down I'm gonna put it actually at like 70 because I think honestly even 80 is a little big for what I want to do because I want to be able to fit a couple bars next to each other so I've done that and then uh, you know if you want to assign bars you can do that here or if you want to get to the action bar settings say you didn't set up the action bars like I said you can click on this it takes you right to where the action bars are in the interface uh, so that you can turn them on and off if you need so uh, now let's just go ahead and do the same thing with action bar 2 and actually my action bar 2 isn't actually the one that I use second uh, for some reason that's action bar 3 I think it was something with el how elf was set up uh, so I'm just gonna do the same thing I want these to be flush with each other so I'm gonna set it down to 7 uh, 70 and leave the icon padding at 2 if I want it to be more wide I can change that all the way up to 10 but generally 2 looks the best uh, you can't actually go below 2 there is actually options on here too to where you can change the visibility. I always like to see my bars even though I've got to tell me when up there. Um, so like if you only want to see your bars in combat you can do that. If you only want to see these bars when you're out of combat you can do that. Or if you just want to always hide them um, then you can hide them and only show when you like go to apply a, a new uh, ability to it. I'm going to leave mine visible. Um, and then this right here bar 2 I'm going to also make this 70 because I like to be consistent there. Uh, and this one actually is one of my bars that I normally only have 11 on. So I'm going to just kind of pull that down to 11. And then I generally put these off to the side of my other bar. So I can make this, should be able to make this go flush with it just by clicking on it and putting it next to it. And boom, there we go. All right, and then we've got our sidebars. Now, uh, the sidebar over here, sidebar five, is actually the one that I also use, um, and I generally put on the left side over here. So uh, right now it's vertical, but again, we can change that just using our drop down. So let's change that to horizontal. There we go. Change it down to 70%. And then this one, I also only use 11 buttons on, so I'll pull that there. Actually, I think I only use 10 because I don't have anything there for a blank, so I'll put it at 10. Uh, and I'm gonna put this over here too. Now. Part of the issue now is that if I go to put it in line, uh, like I have this on live with my elf, uh, then my chat's in the way. So let's just modify the chat. So if I pull this back up, when you have the chat here, you can see actually this arrow right here. You can just pull and move it. You can also make it bigger if you want, right? Uh, that's as big as it goes. And then this is as skinny as it goes, um, but we can do that to, to move it out of the way. So I'll just leave it like that for now, and then I'll come back and adjust it once I get my bar in. That way I know how wide I want it to be. All right, so let's make it smaller again, and I'm going to have it go just out to that bar, but not quite touching it. Boom. So that looks good for me. All right, uh, and then there's other things we can do, right? Uh, well, first of all, let's take care of action bar four. So action bar four, four, I'm just going to make that be 70% as well. Um, and so one of the things you'll notice is if you just put this on the side, it doesn't move where the quests are up here. But if I click the button that says snap to right side, now it moves it um, and moves this over so that the quests don't like overlap that. So if you are going to have a bar on the right, like I know we like to have, um, you can just make sure to click snap to the right side so it moves the quest pane for you. All right, so let's go ahead and deal with party frames. So if I click on party frames, it does bring up the party frames over here. And you can see these look like the classic ones right now. Um, but if you click on it, you can choose to add a background to it. Maybe you want to see like a background for it to make it look a little sleeker if you're using the base one. Um, but I like to use the raid style one, so I'm going to click on raid style. Uh, and then you can see it instantly changes. And then the other nice thing about this is once it changes, you can choose to make it horizontal or keep it vertical, right? Uh, I prefer to have mine horizontal, so I'm just going to put mine to horizontal, and I'm going to put it right about there. That's where I like to have them. Uh, I have mine pretty 
uh, tall as well uh, when it comes to my party frames, but we can change that inside uh, the other options menu. You can't actually do it here. That's the one thing I wish they would change for it is, um, so you have the options to like make them wider or make them taller, uh, but that's not in this frame right now. Uh, doesn't mean that it won't, won't be eventually, but currently it's not in there. So that's something I'd like to see added just so you can kind of fiddle around with that as well. Um, okay, so stance bar, something if you are a warrior or a druid, you'll probably be dealing with. So you can move the stance bar, I'm just gonna move over there. You can again change the size on this as well. Uh, I'll make it 90 because I'm not really going to use it. Uh, then I can move this back. Uh, you will see that as I turn some of these on, it is going to put it like down in the bottom over here. So just be, if you can't find something after you turn it on, it might just be that it's underneath one of your action bars that you've already set up. Uh, pet bar, again, pet bar did the same thing. Uh, I tend to put my pet bar on top of my character, and then I'm just going to make this be smaller so it fits flush. So I'll put it down to 60. That way it's directly centered like that. Again, you can make this vertical if you want. You can have it set to always show buttons or never show buttons. You know, just kind of how you prefer it. Uh, okay. And then cast bar. Cast bar by default is going to be down here. Let's move this out of the way. And then, uh, again, you can choose to have your cast bar lock it to the player frame, right? So that it'll go right here. Or you can unlock it and then you can put it where you want. I like to have it right above my bars at the bottom there. All right, and then encounter bar. Uh, I'm assuming this is like probably like uh, the energy and stuff as far as like uh, if you're on Vigilant Guardian for the first boss of SFO where it's like gaining energy. So I think that's what the encounter bar is. I'm going to put it down here. Uh, actually, I'll, I'll just leave it up here above the cast bar for now. You, you might want to change that if you go into raid um, so that, you know, your raid frames don't cover it up. But for now, I'll just put it right there because I don't plan on doing any raid uh, anytime soon. Um, but, you know, these encounter bars also showed up inside of, like, Halls of Atonement where you, like, had to get the three shards taken down and it kind of tell you how much energy it had. So, there's that. Extra abilities. This is the big box here. This box is going to contain uh, things such as your extra action button and then if there's any zone abilities, that's, that's what the extra abilities is going to be there. So, put that down here. Uh, and then I'm just going to line up my focus frame with it. Not that it actually matters, but put it there. All right, uh, some more bars for us. I don't actually know what the possesses bar is. Uh, puts it all the way down here. Let's move this out of the way. It's actually not even showing up right now. So that appears to be something that's broken. Uh, I'm not sh even sure what that's supposed to be. So for now, I'll just leave that where it's at. All right, talking head. Uh, I like the talking head where it does like the different, you know, quest options where the guy's talking, put it up there. Vehicle exit button, I like to just put that right over my character picture, that way I can just click right there and jump out. Um, and then the one thing I haven't talked yet about is the buff and debuff bar. So uh, up here you can see my buffs, and these are three buffs that I just kind of have right now. Right, so I've got my file equipped, I've got this weekly event, and then I've got my Vantus rune. Um, so one of the nice things about this is they've added this little button here. And if you click this, it's going to hide any of your long duration buffs. Um, this way, if I uh, activate like Cellbrew, you can see it's going to show up there. And it's only going to show short duration buffs. Um, so that's something that's super nice. Uh, me, I hate seeing all the long duration buffs. Half the time I like, I got to click off uh, Rushing Jade Wind and I end up clicking off like Stamina or something. So uh, that's going to be really nice to just be able to hide those long duration buffs. But... Uh, buff frames can also be moved in this. So not only can they be moved, because I like to put mine, the, my short duration buffs, above my character so where I can like see them easily, that way I know what's up. Um, but you can do a couple different things with this. You can make them go vertically if you want. Um, I don't. I personally don't like that, but you might like to see it off on the side. Um, horizontal, you can make it go up or down, right? You can make it go left or right, and you can even change the size and the icon limit for this. So I'm going to change the limit down to six. That way it fits in between. Uh, I have another couple weak ores that go right here that kind of map this in. Uh, so I'll put this in the middle there and you can change the padding. Five is as small as it goes for this, but you can make it wider if you want. I'm going to keep it at five. And you can see what it looks like with more buffs. Uh, I doubt it's ever going to get to that high <laughs> for short duration buffs. Um, but yeah, so you can kind of mess around with that and see that. And then you can also move the debuffs bar. 
So the debuff bar, for some reason, I put it down there. I think it's because it was connected to my buff bar. Uh, but normally this is like up here, right? So if you want to keep it here, you can. I generally like to put mine above my character just so I can kind of see it right up in my face. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to change this down to uh, 6 so that it fits. And, you know, that doesn't quite fit. So maybe I just make the icon slightly smaller, make it 90. There we go. That's going to fit nice. And, you know, let's make the buffs 92. That way it's about the same size. All right, and then I can icon limit that to six right here. Okay, that looks nice. All right, and then again, right here in this empty space, I normally have weak ores that'll go here, but weak ores isn't working right now. Um, but yeah, so right now, I've kind of like got this how I like it. There's one more thing that doesn't show up on here that you can change, um, and that is actually your map. So your map, you can actually move this around wherever you want. If you wanted it to be directly in the middle of your screen, I don't recommend that, but you can put it there. You can put it on the top left, top right, bottom. You can move it literally wherever you want. If you want it to be underneath your character, you can see it there. Um, so you can see this lots of different places. I love, I actually do like the new artwork for this. It looks really nice. Uh, I'm going to keep it in the top right because that's generally where I keep my map. Um, but the things on there also look pretty good. Let's. Uh, I like how this one's looking. And I'm going to show you guys the map and show you a couple more things real quick with this. So uh, let's go ahead and save. And you can make this a character specific layout or just uh, you know, like a general one. So I'm going to call this my uh, work in progress, WIP, and hit save. Uh, and sometimes, just because it's beta, something weird happens. I've noticed that this bar likes to go, bar five likes to go back over here. Uh, you can kind of just move it back, hit save. I've noticed sometimes like I'll click on it and if I just switch between it'll it'll go back to where it's supposed to go. Uh, but so we can go ahead and close out of that and now this is what it's going to look like without my grid up. Um, I like this. It looks pretty sleek. It looks nice. Um, so it's got this going on. So with the new map, uh, the calendar is now up here on the top right. You can see your uh, location and click on that to get to like the big map and then over here is tracking. Uh, there was an option inside the edit mode where you could change this to be underneath in case you want it to be underneath. I like it up on top, so I'm just going to leave it on top. Um, so that's there. Now, one more thing that you can do with this that is super nice is that maybe you want to share this. Hmm? Maybe you want to download the one that I've created right now. You can do that by just going on the drop down you can actually import or share. So you can click share and you can hit copy to pasteboard. Uh, my tell me wouldn't block that for some reason, but I've got it over to the left over here. So again, just hit it again. Okay, and then once you have that there, uh, I can go down to like uh, a new one. So let me just click back to modern. Don't worry, it's saved up here. All my saved ones are up here so you can see the other ones I've got. Um, but I can click back to modern and go back to like the base one. And now we can hit import and paste in the code. There's the big code. It looks kind of weird, but it knows what it's talking about. And we'll call this pasted work in progress and hit import and boom, everything changed. And of course this one keeps on going over here. Like I said, I think that's just a bug with the beta right now, uh, but you can just pull it back real quick and boom, you can see it's the same one we just had. So uh, this is super nice. Uh, you can make this so that as soon as you log in on a character, you can just quickly click on the drop down and go right to uh, the one that you want uh, for this. You can make it so that it only works for a certain character. You can change it so that maybe you have one that you like for healing, maybe one you have for dungeons, maybe you have one for raid, uh, and you can switch between them, which is which is pretty nice. So lots of options there uh, that you can you can deal with that. So. Honestly, I think this is a super nice feature. Uh, a lot of this is like the things that I use Elv for specifically. So the fact that you can do this now with the base UI, like this gets rid of having to use dominoes, shadowed unit frames, um, Elv. Uh, you can do kind of all these nice things with just this program, uh, just the base UI. So I think this is a good step on Blizzard for uh, the future. One of the few things that you can't move that I'm kind of sad about um, inside here is that you can't move your XP bar and your reputation bar. Uh, I'd love to be able to see this to be moved. I'd love to put these actually normally over my chat so I can just kind of have it there and it, it looks like it's in the right spot for it or maybe put it, you know, over to the right, over top of the bags. Uh, the new bags look pretty sleek too. So um, I'd love to see that be able to move. I'd love to be able to move the quest stuff just so that we can move like everything. Um, and then, like I said, I'd love to see the being able to make our party larger or smaller. 
Now, you can still make the, the party larger or smaller by going into options and then going into raid profiles, uh, and then you can adjust the frame height and frame width here. The only downside to that is that if you're not in a group, you can't see what you're adjusting. So, like, if you adjust it, uh, it'll adjust, but it's not going to, like, show you what it looks like. So, uh, that is a little sad. Like I said, I'd love to see this functionality put into the edit mode when you click on your party uh, so that you can do that right here and be able to see what it looks like. Um, but as first step, this, I think, is... This is a big win for Blizzard, and I, I look forward to seeing uh, what else we can kind of do with this and, you know what people can do with this like you know share the share the UIs that you want to have you know do you do you move these bars and, and make them two rows right uh, do you make them three uh, make some cool looking UIs with this so I'm pretty excited for that to be able to have this option uh, without having to have something like Elf or Domino so uh, anyways that's it for this video if you want some more beta coverage you can check out the rest of my videos here uh, I've also got live content coming for keys specifically brewmaster stuff so if that sounds like something you're interested uh, make sure to comment like and subscribe for me and uh, again, if there's anything else from the beta that you guys are looking forward to seeing and want to know about, uh, feel free to comment it down in the bottom here, and I'll make sure to make a video for you guys. So I will catch you in the next one. See ya!